science today, we see so much that's about modeling, so much that's remote sensing, and a lot of times it seems like the getting out in the field gets left behind. Earth system science, you know, that's the, that's the buzz. And I would actually make the argument, you guys do it better than anyone. On behalf of all the judges, we'd like to thank all the student entries. It's uh, been a real pleasure to take a look at a lot of uh, excellent science. Third place award goes to Joel Edwards. And Joel, we hope you're going to be a mapper for the rest of your life, because I'm sure that you will. Our second place winner is Russell B. Fiore. And the first prize winner is Chad Carlson. And Chad, we happily and proudly present you with the Front and Compass. Congratulations. U.S. Geothermal approached my advisor and asked them for a grad student to come up and map the geology of the geothermal system. So they were out there drilling wells, developing the resource, and they uh, wanted a little more explanation on the geology. The goal of this mapping project was to document and ascertain and catalog the structural controls on mineralization, specifically carlin-type mineralization, uh, in the mining district itself. It's a kind of a, a two-pronged attack of both detailed geologic mapping, understanding the structures, how they're linked, along with paleomagnetics to identify where we're having vertical axis rotation, rotation of crustal blocks versus just translation of those crustal blocks. We're all from the University of Nevada Reno, so it was kind of this, this quick, clean sweep. Uh, it's cool. I actually wasn't expecting to win anything, so it means a lot. Uh, it was a good run. I had a lot of fun up there. It's eastern Oregon. There's rattlesnakes. It was an interesting, good experience. Uh, I find it really interesting. I really like doing the field work. I like the physicality of it. I like the problem solving at a component of it. Models are great, the geophysical models, but unless you can attach those models to the real world geology that you find out there, they're just models. Understanding and having detailed information of the geology that you're trying to you know, base these models on is key.